fall. German Navy, so proudly built up by that smug strategical genius, the Führer, is slowly but surely being wiped out. Now the Scharnhorst, the 26,000-ton battleship, has gone to the bottom, the not unusual result of action against the Royal Navy. The Scharnhorst certainly had a checkered career. Launched in 1936, completed in 1939, her main job was commerce raiding, carried out as often as not with her sister ship, the Gneisner. Off Norway, her 11-inch guns finally accounted for the aircraft carrier Glorious her only real success. She fled to France, and when the bombing got too hot, she fled again. We all remember her dash through the channel, together with her sister ship and the Prince Eugen. In desperation, Hitler sent her off to radar convoys to Russia, but he obviously underestimated the opposition. The Royal Navy turned up in strength, and yet another old score was duly wiped off. Now, off the North Cape, she's fought her first and last real fight against the big guns of our capital ships, which were under the command of Admiral Sir Bruce Fraser. To the Admiral and the men who served him so magnificently, we give due thanks for a grand Christmas present. As for the rest of the German Navy, well, ships like the Duke of York are only waiting for an introduction.